Hey, how's it going? Miles here at Techno Hive, joined by Tosh, and welcome to another episode of Force on Force Fridays. Today, Tosh is going to be talking about how to negotiate a stairwell, whether at your, your home, primarily your home, but possibly you could use this knowledge anywhere you are. We kind of did some stairway stuff in an earlier video, but this is actually how do you, how do you deal with a stairway, mm -hmm. okay? We're gonna, I'm going to show you a couple techniques um, and then you're going to execute those techniques or you're going to try a couple different techniques while having doing it under fire. Okay. So we're going to throw a bad guy at you after you learn the different methodologies of negotiating this obstacle. Sounds okay. Good. All right, Miles, uh, negotiating stairways. All right. This is not something that you want to do. It's something you have to do. Okay. So all the stuff leading up to it has failed and now you've got to deal with this situation. Okay, and that's what this is all about. How do you deal with it now that you're in that situation? Okay, so there are gonna be several types of different stairways. Whatever stairway that you think you're gonna be confronted with, you should good practice. So some houses have those spiral stairways, mm -hmm. things like that. The old rule, the more CQB you do, the more you realize you don't wanna do it. You know, well, we're in a situation where we have to do it, so that's why we're going through this process. Okay, so with this particular stairway, you'll see that as you go down the stairway, there's a big gap where you can see off to the side, okay? And then you have a solid wall, which probably is the majority of stairways in a home. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how, different ways to do this, and we'll talk about the different threat levels, okay? Uh, me personally, if, if I have a threat down there that I know is down there, I like what we discussed earlier in the other video was to kind of mud suck and wait for them. Mm -hmm. But if you feel that need that you have to go down there for whatever reason, you got a family member down there that's in trouble or whatever the case may be, you got to get down the stairs. There's different methodologies. So I'm going to take it a little bit slow mm -hmm. at first. Of course, it's always going to ramp up depending on what's going on downstairs. Let's say your wife's in the kitchen. She's getting raped by these, some asshole mm -hmm. in your home, okay? So now speed's going to be more important, yeah. okay? So we're going to start with where, hey, speed isn't important, and then we'll, we'll, we'll start stepping it up as we go, okay? Sounds good. All right, so for this initial, in a situation where this, where I've got time is on my side, mm -hmm. I'm gonna take it incrementally, okay? The issue is with a ladder well or a stairway is you don't wanna get caught in the middle of it, okay? So what I'm gonna to try to do is clear as much as I can from up top, okay? okay? So just like when we pie on the doorways, it's, it's all about the angles, right? So I'm gonna to try to get the angles where I can clear as much as I can, okay? I may even, depending on the stairway, so some stairways, they have gaps between the steps that you can see through. So if that is an option, I may actually get down and clear in this manner, okay? Because I can see through. That way, when I do the clearance, I can immediately just move on down the stairs and I don't have to hang out on the stairway, okay? So, but like these stairs, we don't have that gap, right? So I'm gonna clear as much as I can and I know that I can get a shot through. And there's a couple different methods, okay? So one method is use the wall as your support. So you can have both hands on the fire on, on your weapon, okay? So you can move through and slowly clear all the way down till you don't have an angle on a threat. Once that area is clear, it's clear, then you move on down the stairs. <clears throat> Another method, all right, is you have a rail. So obviously I've learned to be a shooter with one hand, so I, I consider this a handgun, not a hands gun. So most of my shooting is always done one-handed. So for me, it's not that big of a deal to consider using the rail mm -hmm. as I'm moving down. Do you know what I mean? Because not only is this difficult from a tactical perspective of actually trying to move down it, it's, it's stairways. It, especially late at night or whenever you may be, you may have just woken up or whatever the case may be, you may need that extra support as you're moving down the stairs. So getting that gun out in front of you, right? And we'll get down to the rail here. And you're gonna just simply use the rail to kind of guide yourself down, mm -hmm. okay? I do, 
I do recommend that over coming against the wall and using that as your support as you're moving because this does create a lot of noise, mm -hmm. right? So you're trying to balance out, it, it's all situational dependent, right? Mm -hmm. So if I gotta get down in a hurry, I'm gonna get down as fast as I can, uh, or should I take this slow depending, you know, it, it depends, right? It's one of those situations. And you're saying primarily the, the technique with the rail in this particular situation you're talking about is, is just added security in terms yeah. of yeah, balance. support. Support, yeah, right? so you're not gonna so, fall on your ass or anything like that. Right, because yeah, yeah that, that could be the, this is where a lot of injury can happen accidentally, mm -hmm. right? Especially if you're tired, you know, you just woke up, you heard something downstairs, you decided, hey, I'm gonna go down there and see what that is, Yeah, got it. you know? And the other answer is, hey, you go for it, go fast, but you run the risk, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So we're trying to do the highest level of security we possibly can with speed, right? So, but you don't want to rush into a gunfight, mm -hmm. right? So having the support of the stairway itself and utilizing that to your advantage. We get in a habit of, we always have to have two hands on the gun that I, I've learned the hard way, you don't need that. You can use this gun, everybody can shoot one-handed, right? I mean, they did it for years. Now it's like everybody has to have the two hands on the gun. It's not necessary, you know what I mean? It, I think you're getting more by supporting yourself. You know, okay, if we run into a situation where, okay, now, you know, we got this problem, right? Or I'm crossing my own arm, well then, okay. You, you step off, you clue a little bit more, and then you move on down. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do the whole stairway this way. Yeah. You just need to clear that landing down below and make sure there's no extra angle that you're gonna have to deal with yeah. when you get down there, okay? So it seems simple, but that's, that's how it works. It. Let's uh, get you moving. Just do it a couple times, and then we're gonna create uh, the worst case scenario, okay? And then we're gonna throw a bad guy at you and see how you deal with that. Okay. All right. Okay. So right here, you've cleared you know this is clear, right? Yes. Now at this point, man, get down there. Okay, okay? don't don't linger in the in the stairway. It's it's just a bad place to be, man. It's a channelized area, and so much can go wrong. Should you get a threat in the, this is the worst spot to be in right here on mm -hmm. a stairway because okay. you're not at the beginning and you're not at the end of it because uh -huh. you really don't have a place to go. You got to pick one or the other. Yeah. Right. Okay. So now, obviously, once you out. get to that place where you've cleared, yeah, get down there. Bust down there. Okay, so let's try that again. If I was trying to be quiet, I, let's say there's no need for me to rush, I wouldn't necessarily just book and make a lot of sound. No, 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 but you would move. Yeah, move, move. As, as a little bit faster down. without being noisy, yeah. right? Okay, you got that clearance, now get down there. Okay, so use your rail a little bit, okay? Yeah. Even the faster you go, the more chances of you falling, falling and doing something yeah. stupid. If you've cleared that spot, there's kind of a rule out there, once you own something, don't give it up. Sometimes that's true, sometimes they're not. And this is one of those situations where I think that's, that's not true. You've cleared it, move, mm -hmm. okay? You can take your eye off if it's gonna keep you from falling on your, your face, mm -hmm. twisting your ankle, you know, or causing injury and putting you in a bad situation. Okay. So you got that, you cleared that space. Okay, use the damn rail to get down the stairs, you know, and, yeah. and have that gun ready. You know what I mean? All right, okay. so do it again. <sighs> okay, how'd, it, how'd that feel? Better, because I definitely have some support. Fluid, yeah, right? yeah. In, in, in all reality, that's probably naturally what you're yeah. gonna do anyway. Right? Mm -hmm. It's just, 
Some, for some reason, look for something a, to support myself. Yeah, yeah down, for some yeah. reason, we stick a gun in somebody's hand and they forget how to walk, how to enter mm -hmm. the room, and all that other stuff. So, okay, you've done it a couple times, and now you can see, okay, there's a little bit of finagling going on, right? Mm -hmm. So, if you can clear the majority from the top of the landing, that's always the best option, yeah. okay? And it all, again, comes to time how much time do you have, mm -hmm. right? And threat level, okay? Mm -hmm. So, you can easily, if the rail is in your way, you, there's nothing wrong with switching hands, right? Can you shoot your gun left-handed? Yeah. Okay. I'm not asking you to throw a baseball <laughs> left-handed, but if you can, for that split moment in time, you can switch hands in order to make sure that you're clear of yourself. So if you have to take a shot, you can. Mm -hmm. So, but again, I don't like to linger at that at that point of no return. I don't want to be in the middle of the stairway. Yeah. Is the is the main goal of this? Is just once you get to that spot, even if you're going to make a little bit more noise, get down get down that stairway because it's such a dangerous spot. Got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And if that means you're going to give up a split second of security to meet that speed, that's that's on you. Me personally, I'm going to give up just that that split second to get speed mm -hmm. in, in the equation. And then I can get back on the gun quickly. Okay. You know, it's different when you got a team of guys, right? Mm -hmm. You got somebody that's always covering your angles, covering your back. But when you're by yourself, you're constantly having to sacrifice uh, speed versus security. You're con you're constantly in that battle when you're by yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I say don't linger on the stairway. Get down. Got it. Okay. Okay. Okay, Miles. The situation is, okay, for the scenario sake, is that you have to do this. This is not, you don't have an option. Okay. You got a family member that's being hurt or whatever, you gotta get down the stairs, okay? okay? So, let's do it. All right. All right, Miles, on you. All right. Okay, Miles, how did how that feel? It was okay because I, I was being methodical about it, not trying right. to rush into it. So I was uh, waiting for any, some kind of threat to come out. One thing that, uh, to be honest, it was my, my headgear was getting really fogged up, so it was a little hard to distinguish certain things. But felt all right where I got a little, I guess, uh, confused is um, at that point where you saw after I took my shots again, my tendency, even from based on past scenarios, I kind of back up. So after I take those shots, I kind of back up. So wasn't really sure if that's the right thing, right thing, but I'm sure it's situation dependent. It's not a bad thing, okay? It's your natural instinct to go to cover, okay? You just got in a gunfight, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna go to cover. So I'm not gonna say resist that, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, if you were on an assault force, mm -hmm. The guys would have pushed Different immediately. Story. They would have gone on the attack, yeah. right? But because it's a one-on-one -on -one situation or one against many, we don't know, right? Getting that self-preservation, getting back behind cover after you engage, just realize if you decide you got to come back down, you're going to have to re-go through this process again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, and if it's hey, your family's down there and something's happening, you're you're going to have to reapproach that. Mm -hmm. But using your cover. After the, that initial uh, contact, I, I don't think it was a bad call. Mm -hmm. I think that's actually a smart thing to do. Yeah. And, and you instinctually knew that, mm -hmm. you know. And I don't think it was had anything to do with training. I think it's about that sure. brain saying, hey, get, get the hell out of, get off the X. One, one thing I uh, noticed also is uh, the very fact, what you alluded to is if I'm trying to make it down the stairs, that rail or holding will, will come in handy to keep, yourself balanced because um, when I did that iteration, I was trying to go a little bit faster down the stairs and just naturally too, I wanna, I wanna hold something. Right. Whereas if I didn't, I would have to methodically do it. That would, that would be feel okay, I'd feel stable. But when, I, when that, that iteration, I try to go down quickly, but yeah, I, I need to hold on to something. And, and think about low light, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say it's at night and you don't have any lights on, you're, you're gonna need that support, Yeah. okay? so. Even with a flashlight on your gun, it's it's not shining the your steps. It's shining where you want to see, right? Yeah. So you're going to need that support. So that's why I recommend using rails, using walls mm -hmm. to get you down the stairs. 
Yeah. Makes sense. And again, it, it goes back to uh, what I just mentioned. You mentioned already, I felt like in that iteration, trying to go fast, need the support. If uh, I wasn't, I do feel the back against the wall really is a nice methodical way to do it. Mm -hmm. Although the sound, uh, there were some reps that I did where, um, it's a lot. correct. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on the clothing, I guess, and what's on the wall. <laughs> right, right, yeah. Right. Cool. Awesome. Okay. So what we're going to do next is we're going to negotiate going up. Okay. Okay. Something's going on. You just came home and your your wife is screaming for you and we're, we're, we'll talk about how you're going to get up the stairs sounds good okay we've got a different stairway we're gonna we're talking about some techniques going up all right okay now there's so many different stairways that you may you may come across so wherever you think you're gonna be where you got to negotiate stairways you should practice to that stairway mm -hmm. okay so on this particular stairway we have a landing and we have a landing this way yeah okay so negotiating this we're going to want to clear all that space before we pop our our noggin up you know what i mean mm -hmm. when we do we're doing it as a clear yeah okay so there's a couple different methods i'm used to doing this with two people minimum you know coming up the stairway you're giving up a lot because you're doing it by yourself again you're only doing this because you have to do it it's not something you want to do okay What's unique about going up stairways as opposed to coming down, this landing area is a threat area also. Okay, it's really, you know, uh, from a combative standpoint, uh, this is where grenades land, you know, all the, the bad shit can happen. As a home defense, I don't think you're gonna have to worry about that, but it still gives me the heebie-jeebies when I come up to a stairway and I'm right here. Okay, this is like being in a fatal funnel yeah. in, a, in itself right here. It's a, it's a bad spot. When we want to get and clear up as high as we can quickly. So this is where the speed is actually a little bit more in the beginning. Okay, even though we've got so much to clear, right? Because we got, you know, we're, we're fighting from the low ground. They got the high ground and we're, we're trying to get up to it. So it's way more dangerous to do actually do this the, th the thing is though it is easier to move do you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. okay so different approach again at this point you're going to want to clear as much as you possibly can before going up there okay so you're gonna if you can see what's going to happen at this point you, you don't want to just come up like this, okay? You're gonna, again, you're gonna wanna do the crouch because you're gonna essentially, well this is diff, oh, we got a wall here, okay? So there's a wall here, so we don't have to clear this, but if there wasn't a wall there, we'd have to clear that, right? Okay, so we're good. So our area now is just this, okay? So because we have this wall as a rail, so in a lot of homes they don't have, they have just the rail and you can see through it, so now you're not clearing right here. You're clearing up to the top of the rail because of this wall, because you can't see anything, okay? So now you're stuck in a position like this. So, which is to your benefit, because now I don't have to crouch, okay? If there is no wall here, we're gonna wanna crouch and clear as we move up, okay? And just take it a couple steps at a time, okay? But because we have the wall, this is kind of, it's a, it's a crappy situation. You don't want to be in a gunfight like this, right? So we want to get up this fast and we're going to, you can use the rail. Okay, so now that we have this wall, right? Okay, because we have this. Now we're going to do what we would have done down there, right? This is really a tough situation right here, all right? because I don't have support of another guy being able to hold on this angle and move with me. So now I've got a clear, I've got an angle over here that I know is a big threat and then I still don't, I don't know what's here, yeah. right? And what's over here. So I've got to, <laughs> like don't do this, only if you have to, right? Okay, so now what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna just like, uh, if we were doing regular CQB, I'm gonna try I don't have a whole lot of space 
At this point, for me, I'm going dynamic because just hanging out here like this, this is just ridiculous, okay? Speed's gonna be my friend on this. And I'm gonna dynamically come up and get up here and clear it, okay? Because I have this, this wall here that, that, that is pre preventing me from doing it methodically. This is one of those situations where you gotta switch from being methodical to dynamic, okay? Good? Let's try it a couple times, see how you feel doing this. All right, so this is the sticky point for you, right? Yeah. It was a sticky point once I got up here, and I was like, oh shit. So when I said go dynamic, this, this is one of those situations. I'm not a guy who says, hey, always go dynamic or always you know, take it methodically. This is one of those situations where you gotta be able to flow in and out of dynamic and, and methodical. And because there's so many potential threats, this, you gotta clear this. And I would recommend, once you get to that point, like you can see that doorway, yeah. and you know you have this angle you gotta deal with, just take it. Take it all as one. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? All right, so go from right here, and or go a little bit lower, and then just try taking that. All right, so hey, you're, you're gonna take this more dynamically. Don't worry about this balcony right now, because we're, we're just trying to deal with this particular situation. Yeah. Take it dynamically. Also, when you take this corner, what you don't wanna do is lead with your gun, okay? Break it down. You can still shoot as you're coming up dynamically and then punch it out, okay? Don't let that gun, don't do the, you know, the Hollywood special, right? Get that gun close because you may have to strike with that. Got it. Yeah. All right, as you see, as you came around, mm -hmm. you broke it down, your gun was still pointed in that direction. You could have easily engaged from here if you had to. Yeah. Okay? Good job. Thanks. All right. Ready to do it under stress? Right. All right, let's do it. All right, Miles. How did how did that one feel? Uh, felt uh, better once I once I got used to negotiating the top part here and going to that compress. Just kind of, you know, from just your normal flat range training, right? You're always just doing this, always just get, having that gun out, and uh, right, right. you know, real world, you will always go. You, you might find yourself in those tight situations. Yeah. Any, anytime, airsoft. Okay, unloaded. Um, anytime you find yourself in those tight situations, getting that that high ready yeah. is, it gives you the ability to project out if you need to, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? So yeah, it, this situation, again, you can see there's a point where, okay, we like to do things methodically for, for self-preservation, but there is a point where you have to go dynamic for self-preservation mm -hmm. for the same reasons. And this is one of those, those sticky situations. Yeah, it makes, makes a lot of sense. Um, how do you feel about negotiating Stairways. Uh, better. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm no expert. <laughs> right. But, it's uh, something you definitely have to train to, to a specific stairway too. Mm -hmm. So what is the stairway that you have to deal with? Yeah. You know what I mean? There are stairways that have gaps that you can see through the rungs, which can be to your benefit and to your detriment, mm -hmm. you know, depending on how, how you utilize it. Got so it. The walls, two rails, one rail, individual stairway by itself, and you got nothing on the sides, and then you gotta clear both sides, yeah, you know, so. Makes sense. And I liked uh, how you went over both, uh, or emphasized it could be dynamic and be methodical. What I've learned initially, let's say dealing with stairwells, particularly specifically moving up, is you're always looking at that edge. The edge is gonna change depending on the stairwell. But then, uh, as you mentioned, because I was used to that, I was trying to, I was had that in my mind, but then once we got here too, I was still, it still had in my mind, go methodical, but then 
it didn't really work out that well in this particular situation. But now I understand a lot more. If you didn't run into a threat, you could always dial down. Once you get past that that sticking point, you can always dial it down and go back to methodical, yeah. right? So yeah. that, especially as an individual operator or individual trying to negotiate things, the game changes, yeah. okay? And you've, you've got to be able to flux and, and fluctuate between the two methodologies. Yep, makes sense. Okay? Awesome. Well, we hope you guys like this episode of Force and Force Fridays. This is the wave tops of dealing with stairwells. And I hope you guys learned something. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let us know if you want us to cover any other topics in the comments below. See you guys next week.